For decades, scientists studying mental illnesses have worked with a complicated picture of genetics. Conditions like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder and severe depression tend to run in families, which makes it clear that genes do play a role, but no single gene has ever been known to directly cause a psychiatric disorder in a way that a mutation in a single gene might trigger a metabolic disease or a developmental syndrome. But scientists have now found that mutations to a single gene may be tied to psychiatric symptoms like the early onset of schizophrenia. Hello and welcome to The Pure Science with me, Soumya Pillai. The dominant understanding has been that mental illnesses are polygenic. This means that hundreds of thousands of genetic variants, each with tiny effects, combine with environmental pressures and brain development differences to shape a person's susceptibility. This is why predicting mental illnesses genetically has always been difficult. But a new study led by German researchers challenges that assumption. For the first time, scientists have identified a gene whose specific variants appear to directly cause psychiatric symptoms, even in the absence of other neurological problems. The gene is called GRIN2A, G-R-I-N-2A, and it encodes a crucial component of a receptor in the brain known as the NMDA receptor, which is central to how neurons communicate. An NMDA receptor is a type of glutamate receptor in the brain that is crucial for excitatory neurotransmission. In simpler terms, neurons use it to transmit signals across synapses and it plays essential roles in learning, memory formation, decision-making circuits and emotional regulation. When the NMDA receptor is underactive or overactive, the consequences can be profound influencing everything from seizures to cognitive function. GRIN2A encodes a subunit of this receptor, meaning that when GRIN2A is altered, the receptor itself changes its behavior. In the new research, scientists performed a detailed assessment of 121 individuals carrying rare and damaging variants of this gene, carefully documenting their symptoms and using statistical techniques to distinguish psychiatric features from other neurological traits. What emerged was a clear pattern. Certain GRIN2 variants consistently reduce the functioning of the NMDA receptor, and this reduction appears sufficient to trigger psychiatric symptoms, sometimes resembling schizophrenia, sometimes showing overlaps with mood disorders, and sometimes presenting as complex behavioral changes starting far earlier in life than typical psychiatric illnesses. One of the most striking features of the study is the age of onset. Conditions like schizophrenia normally emerge in late adolescence or early adulthood, after the brain has gone through major developmental transitions. But individuals with these GRIN2A variants often experience psychiatric symptoms in childhood or early adolescence. This timing serves as an important clue, suggesting that the genetic change is not simply a small risk factor acting alongside many others, but a major biological driver that shapes brain development in a way that leads directly to psychiatric illnesses. Even more surprising is that several individuals with GRIN2A mutations showed psychiatric symptoms without any of the typical neurological problems previously associated with this gene, such as epilepsy or significant intellectual disability. This reveals a wide spectrum of effects from the same gene and suggests that GRIN2A-related psychiatric diseases may have been hiding in plain sight misclassified under broader psychiatric diagnosis. The underlying science points to the role of NMDA receptor hypofunction, meaning the receptor is less active than it should be. This idea has circulated in neuroscience for years, particularly in theories about schizophrenia, but until now, direct genetic proof has been scarce. The new findings provide molecular evidence. When GRIN2A carries certain disruptive mutations, the NMDA receptor underperforms, the synaptic signals becomes impaired, and neural pathways involved in cognitive and emotional regulation fail to develop normally. 
This mechanistic understanding offers something rare in psychiatric research, a clear biological pathway linking a gene to a disorder. And that opens the door to targeted treatment. The scientists tested an intriguing therapeutic approach using L-serine, a naturally occurring amino acid that can enhance NMDA receptor function. When they gave L-serine to individuals with GRIN2A mutations, early results showed measurable improvement in psychiatric symptoms. While this is still preliminary and not a universal cure, it suggests that at least some cases of mental illness driven by this gene could be biologically reversible or treatable through precision medicine. This is a huge leap from current psychiatric treatments, which generally focus on broad symptom controls rather than the underlying cause. The idea that a dietary supplement might improve symptoms in a genetically defined subgroup of psychiatric patients hints at a future where diagnosis could be far more personalized and where patients with known gene variants receive treatments tailored to their exact molecular dysfunction in their brain. The implications of this discovery are profound. It overturns the assumption that all mental illnesses must arise from a diffuse blend of many small genetic influences. It proves that in at least some cases, a single gene can be the primary cause of a psychiatric condition. It also reinforces that mental illnesses have concrete biological roots in neurons, receptors, and molecular signal pathways, not simply abstract psychological processes. While the research emphasizes that GRIN2A mutation accounts for only a small fraction of psychiatric disorders overall, the importance lies in what the finding represents. A blueprint for discovering more single gene causes, a method for linking rare genetic variants to specific symptoms, and a path towards biologically informed treatment strategies. As the field moves forward, the GRIN 2A discovery will likely serve as an example of how modern genetics, detailed clinical mapping, and molecular neuroscience can come together to transform our understanding of the human mind and its vulnerabilities. That was all from me this week. My name is Soumya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science on the Print.